All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep midlife music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. I mean, this y'all boy. So I wouldn't expect anything less. Um, Salute everybody. As y'all come on in here, get late notifications, whatever y'all get. If y'all don't get it, all it is what it is. Um, hopefully y'all having a blessed day this morning and we're going to jump right into this, man. I got some new Laker news for you guys today as, uh, Darvin Ham is pretty much toast, man. Uh, after this season, I believe the Lakers will give him the ax unless he does something miraculous and gets to the NBA finals or the Western conference finals again. Um, you know, which, you know, I mean, if even if he does, he ain't gonna get no credit. The man did it last year, didn't get no credit. So y'all know how this stuff goes. Um, but let's get into this, man. Uh so Darvin Ham, uh I, if I was him, I wouldn't trust anybody on my staff. Um I and I'm, I'm not bringing the Spurs as a punch Phil Handy, because I, I like Phil Handy from afar. Just watching Phil Handy. I respect his his the work I see him do with the players. I don't know Phil Handy personally. I've only heard people say good things about Phil Handy. And so I don't have nothing, no negative uh, thoughts on Phil Handy in personal. But I'm going to tell you all the truth. Uh, according to the reports, uh, LeBron, Ramon James, and some of those other guys were uh, uh, tried to get Darvin Ham fired. And Re Jeannie Buss uh, rejected it. They tried to get uh, Phil Handy to replace Darvin Ham as the head coach of this team of the Lakers. Now, um, if I'm Darvin Ham, if I'm Darvin Ham, I want you to listen to what I'm saying. If I'm Darvin Ham, I and Phil Handy's on my staff, and I know LeBron and those guys tried to get him to trade. I wouldn't. I would not. I would not accept that. I, I would. I, I would definitely. If they bought me back next year, I would not want him on my staff. Because if your name is coming up for fire, for replacing me and they're trying to fire me, and here's the thing about LeBron James, right? Here's the funny part. They're all getting upset at Darvin Ham saying, oh, man, I don't know why they hired Darvin Ham. He don't have no experience uh, as the head coach. He ain't talking basketball. He, I mean, he don't know basketball. Well, what sense would it make for LeBron James to hire Phil Handy? That's his boy. Well, why would you hire Phil Handy? Because Phil Handy doesn't have any head coaching experience. So make it make sense. So what are they going to do? They're going to go right back and say, hey, man, uh, see, when they start, if the Lakers don't win, what are they going to do? Oh, feel handy, man. They hired with no experience. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. See, LeBron wants to hire in puppets that will do whatever he says. And I'm going to tell you something. Darvin Ham's going to regret coming out here saying LeBron was the GOAT and all this other stuff to kiss up to LeBron. He's going to regret all that, man. So the reports are is that they tried to get Darvin Ham fired and replaced with Phil Handy, and Jeannie Buss shot it down. She said, no, nah, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? This is the same type of stuff that happened with the coach Frank Vogel there. They tried to get Frank Vogel fired during the season, and Jeannie Buss said, no, nah, I'm not doing that during the season. I'm not firing Frank Vogel. Remember, the, the last year Frank Vogel was there, they was trying to get him fired. They blamed him for all the Russell Westbrook stuff. They tried to get uh, Frank Vogel fired that last season. During the season, Jeannie, Jeannie Buss was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Then they ended up firing him after the season because Jeannie doesn't like firing coaches during the season like that if she doesn't have to. Um, and so, again, man, it's a sad situation, man. Coaches got to live through this, man. If I'm Darvin Ham, I'm not putting no aspersions on Phil Handy because I've only heard great things about Phil Handy. So I'm not going to do that, but I wouldn't trust nothing if I'm Darvin Ham. If I'm coming back to coach next year, I don't want Dar Phil Handy on my staff. And if it makes LeBron James mad, let him go to a different team. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, should no coach have to coach under that? Because once you go in coaches' meetings and stuff like that, now you're thinking, okay, was 
was he colluding with LeBron James to get my job? This type of stuff they thinking about, man. This type of stuff that's going on that people are thinking about, bro. It's it's crazy, man. It really is, you guys. It's a really sad situation that's going on, man. And, you know, uh, I'm just, you know, at a point, man, where I'm looking at this thing, man, I'm just like, man, at what point, man, are we going to hold dudes accountable, bro? And, 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 I mean, for LeBron James and them dudes to run this off and try to pull a coup d'etat on, on Darvin Ham and get him fired, and and, and uh, uh Phil Phil Handy elevated to the head coach during this. That's just sad, bro. Because Phil Handy didn't have no coaching experience. Either. Why do LeBron James always want coaches who don't have no experience? You know why? So he can run over them and tell them anything he want to do. That's why. So he can run over them and tell them anything he want to say. This type of foolishness that's going on. This type of foolishness that's going on, man. And so I'm just telling you guys what the real is, man. Uh, I mean, you know, Phil Handy, listen, I like him. He has no experience as a head coach. No experience. So everybody's knock on Darvin Ham was, oh, he doesn't have any experience as a head coach, even though Darvin Ham had all the experience as an assistant coach, right? Even though Darvin Ham has won championship as an assistant coach, right? Uh, but people will say, oh, well, Phil Handy, no, Phil Handy never been a head coach. Phil Handy's never been a head assistant coach. Phil Handy has been the extra training coach. So now you're going to move him past the main assistants all the way up to the starting to the to the to the head coaching position. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. And listen, I want Phil Handy to get his opportunity. He already said the other year he was ready to be a head coach. I want him to get an opportunity. I don't speak against brothers like that because he got a lot of experience. He's been around a whole lot. He understands a lot about the game. I want him to get a chance somewhere else with a different team. Not with this team. You know what I mean? This is why you coach. You coach to get raised up in the in the in the rank in the in the in the rankings as a coach. Whether you like if you look at East Bowl, you start off from a uh 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 you know a scouting guy, a film guy, and you work yourself up in the ranks to the head coach. That's what he did. You know what I mean? They saw how hard he worked, and then they put him in a situation, right? where he was coaching a younger team, and then they ended up getting a better team after that. That's different than just being thrust into a team that you're asking to win right now with a rookie head coach. That's just like the, the Boston Celtics with Joe Mazzulla. I get on Joe Mazzulla all the time. Mazzulla's Mazzulla. But it wasn't his fault. He didn't know he was going to be thrown into that situation. You know what I'm saying? But he's definitely not going to say no. He's not going to say no. So uh, you guys got to look at all of these factors that add up, man. You know what I'm saying? And then if you look at it, Darvin Ham has won like over 55% of his games, if I'm not mistaken, as a Lakers head coach. So he had, the Lakers are like 10-some games over 500, which is not good. I mean, which is okay for them. But when you consider all the foolishness you got to deal with, with the old LeBron James, with AD and all these guys, and all the injuries that Darvin Ham have had this year, that's not that bad. It's just the West is more balanced out this year. It's like one team, no no one team is just ru completely running away with the West. It's not like that. Every team is like, and the East is different. One team's running away, and then every other team is just, you know what I'm saying, hanging around. Um, But this is a situation that's going on, man. And now that Giannis is hurt, I mean, that changes everything, which means my, her my bet with Herm and my bet with Mass is off because our bet was that if Giannis got hurt, the bet was off. So Giannis got hurt, man. And so he probably missed the, some of the first round. So with him being hurt, bet off. But, again, I'm saying to you guys, and I'm letting y'all know what the situation is, man. He could have – Giannis could have one of them situations where it could be like KD, man. I hope, pray not. But y'all remember this happened to KD when KD had that calf injury. He went back to play and tore his Achilles. Now, I pray not. Giannis is a warrior. He's a warrior. But at the same time, man, the man fell down just running, bro. That's crazy. The man fell down just running. I I, I mean, those are the worst injuries. With non-contact and just fall down. So I pray he gets it right. But, again, Darvin Ham, it doesn't matter, Herm. He's hurt. The bet is off. He's hurt. We already said if he's hurt, the bet is off. The man is hurt. Bro, the man, the man fell down without no contact, bro. There's nothing else to say. 
Once you do that, bro, man, best is off, bro. No contact, just fell down like that. And it's the same type of injury KD had when he tore his Achilles, when he hurt that calf. Came back, tore his Achilles all over with. It's crazy. Nigga fall down, and don't nobody even touch you, you fall down. Now, knowing Giannis, he probably going to try and fight through it. You know what I'm saying? And I respect him for that, but, I mean, that, that shit was scary, man. But Dar but back to Darvin Ham and the Lakers, man, I'm just telling y'all what the truth is, bro. It's, 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 you know, it's sad, man. It's sad, man. I feel bad for Darvin Ham because Darvin Ham has a winning record both years with the Lakers. They went to the Western Conference Finals, won the in-season tournament. And now they tried to get the man fired. He won nine out, out of ten games before they lost the last two games because LeBron wanted to load manage against the guy daggone Timberwolves when they needed that game. And AD got hurt in the first quarter. Then they lost the last game. But people talking about Darvin Ham still can't coach. These guys don't know basketball. And some of the guys that saying Darvin Ham can't coach, these dudes ain't never coached on no pro level. They don't know anything about basketball. So you can't really talk to them. They don't have any kind of credibility. They never played on no level of professional basketball. They never coached. So they're just a bunch of fanboys. That's why you can't really talk to people like that. Like, dudes like that don't have no common sense. They don't have no common sense, bro. No common sense, man. You understand what I'm saying? Shout out to the brother Karan and the Cash App coming through $50 donation this morning. Salute to you, my brother. Appreciate that, man. And he says, Phil Handy has zero experience as a head coach. I've been told him that. I've told him that, dog. The niggas don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. I told them that. That man ain't got no experience as a head coach. But they want they they want Phil Handy with no experience as a head coach. Uh, okay, well, Mr. Trap House LA, where you coach at looking like that? Answer the question, sir. Where you coach at? Trap House LA. A name like Trap House LA. I don't think the only thing I think you was coaching was on the block, brother. Your name is Trap House LA. Ain't no damn coach named Trap House LA. Coaching in no no organized basketball league. Cut the shit, man. Cut it out, dog. Cut it out, brother. The only thing you know about you 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 you, you probably wouldn't know. The only thing you know about is probably flipping packs. That's it. Talking about something you how well, you a coach. You ain't. I know you ain't coach nowhere. So cut it out. Straight up. So I'm just telling y'all what the truth is. I mean, I'll talk about some high I know to say. Your name is Trap House LA. No damn coach called Trap House LA running around here. Yeah, uh, well, you, you never said you was. Well, then be quiet then, homie. How do I know? I just told you how I know. Your name is Trap House LA. Look at you on the picture. You look like you coach anything organized? No. The only thing you know how to coach probably is whipping work. That's it. Man, bro. So, yeah, I'm just telling y'all what the real is. Right? So, I mean, bro, Darvin Ham, man, again, bro, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to Trap House LA, man, but he know I ain't lying. He know I ain't lying. That man named Trap House LA. You can catch me in and out the trap house. Hey. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah, it ain't trap house, man. They ain't gonna tell me. <laughs> yeah, man. I you know where I coach. Man, listen, man. I know exactly where you coached at. I already know where you coached at. In the kitchen. That's where you coach. Period. And so I'm just telling you guys, man, the situation that's going on, man. Um, and the Lakers, man. They still got a chance to make the AFC to get one win and end the playoffs, a home game win. They need that. They've been bull jabbing on that. You know what I'm saying? So you could tell if they're trying to quit tonight because if they lose tonight to Memphis, they really trying to quit. They really trying to quit. They really trying to quit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, Trap House, you already know what's up. I already know, I already know where you at. 
you right there in the kitchen. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this this brother right here says, Ticky, you know full well nobody use their real names and pictures. Man, cut it out, man. Cut it out talking about something. Ain't nobody who's who's an organized coach going to be on here calling himself Trap House and got that picture up there of themselves. That's his real picture, dog. Cut it out, man. Cut it out. What the hell is you talking about, man? So I'm just telling y'all what's up. Telling y'all what's up. Y'all say what you say. You say whatever the hell you want to say. You know what I mean? Keeping it, keeping I'm keeping it a bean. I'm keeping it a bean. And so again, man, for everybody who don't know what's going on, man, um, LeBron James and some of these guys tried to go. Now, see, I I could believe this guy. Matthew Sanford. See a, a name like that? He says, I coach in college. Oh, I, I could believe that. Matthew Sanford, that, that's different than Trap House. See what I'm saying? So, but yeah, as I told you guys, man, I um for you guys who just came in here, man. They said Darvinham, they said uh LeBron James and them tried to get Darvinham fired and get uh Phil Handy hired if Genie Bus rejected it. That's insane. That's type of stuff going on, man. That's type of stuff going on. You know what I mean? And so I'm, I'm letting y'all know what it is. This is the type of foolishness y'all keen pushing out here, man. I'm trying to get coaches fired. Showing up coaches. I don't told y'all. Y'all saw the picture. Man out here. Disrespect Darvin Ham in the worst way. I told No respect. Darvin Ham out here trying to coach the game. And look at y'all boy LeBron James. I'm about to show y'all y'all boy LeBron James. That's y'all boy. Darvin Ham drawing up a play. And look at him and, and his buddy Austin Reeves. Look at him. Now you tell me what type of respect that is just as a man. So how can y'all blame Darvin Ham? Well, LeBron's not even listening to Darvin Ham and he's losing. Meanwhile, when LeBron James sit down, the team wins. <clears throat> team won the biggest games of the year without him. These are the facts. These are the facts. And y'all know something else I don't see right here? Where Phil Handy at in the huddle? Greenleaf, what up, boy? Salute. Where, where Phil Handy at? This is a disgrace. So this man showing y'all outright, I have zero respect for this man. And you got to give Darvin Ham a lot of credit for being professional, bro. I mean, real talk, if it was me, I'd have thrown the clipboard at this at this brother. I'd have thrown the clipboard at LeBron James. If that was me, I'd have thrown the clipboard at LeBron James, bro. Real talk, you ain't for disrespect me like that, bro. I don't care who he is, bro. I, hey, listen, if I lose my, bro, it is what it is. You're not finna show me up. You know what I mean? And I'm just being honest with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Dude, the dude, the dude's sad, man. You disrespect a brother like that trying to do his job, man. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Blatant disrespect. Blatant in front of y'all face. So how y'all gonna blame Darvin Ham? So this is how this is how the Laker fans will do, right? So Darvin Ham draws up a play. LeBron ain't even looking at the play. He goes out, does his own play, messing around and loses, and then everybody blame Darvin Ham and say, oh, Darvin Ham doesn't know what he's doing. No, that's your king. That's your king on his Mind the Game podcast, acting like he know everything. But he he lost six NBA finals. Right? But if you're going to try and get Darvin Ham fired to hire your boy Phil Handy, who another guy have no experience. But then when the Lakers lose, they say, oh, man, why did they hire a coach with no experience? Because that's what LeBron wanted. Remember, you had, you had, you had Frank Vogel. You had Frank Vogel. You had Frank Vogel. Now what? You got, you got Frank Vogel fired. He had experience. You got him fired. He wasn't good enough. Nobody's good enough for this guy. 
Nobody's good enough for LeBron James, bro. Nobody's good enough for the glory of LeBron James. It's sad, brother. It's sad. It, it, it truly is sad that nobody is good enough for the glory of LeBron James. You know what I mean? And this is the type of foolishness that brothers deal with all the time, man. So if I'm, if I'm, I'm just being real with y'all. If I'm uh, Darvin Ham, and listen, feel handy. This ain't no knock against you. I had the utmost respect about you. But if I'm Darvin Ham, bro, I ain't trusting nothing, bro. I ain't trusting nothing. Y'all on my coaching staff, they try, they said that that Genie Bus had to reject y'all. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not respecting that, bro. I'm not respecting that, bro. I'm not. Genie Bus, I'm gonna repeat myself again, had to reject LeBron James trying to get Darvin Ham fired to hire Phil Handy this year. That that's that's disgusting, bro. That's 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 a disgrace. On all basketball levels, that is a disgrace. You know what I mean? And I'm just not respecting that, man. I'm not, bro. I'm not, man. And, and you Darvin Ham assistant coach. If I'm going to meetings and I'm Darvin Ham, I'm like, man, is this dude talking to LeBron trying to get me fired? It's like, is he secretly talking to LeBron James behind my back trying to get me fired? You know what I mean? I'm just saying, man. That's it, bro. It's, it's 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 a disgrace, man. You got young black brothers trying to come up and do good. Here's the thing, right? Darvin Ham will get another job after this. Go to another team and do well, and everybody will act. They'll forget about all the slander they put on his name when he was coaching the Lakers. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen, bro. You know what I mean? They'll act like, oh no, nah, ain't no coach good enough for this dude. Ain't no teammates good enough for this dude. Ain't no GM good enough for this dude. Ain't no owner good enough for this dude. I'm telling y'all this, bro. Ain't nobody good enough for LeBron James. These dudes literally praise this man. Right? The brother said he started Roy Hachimura too late in the season. Roy Hachimura came into the season hurt. Do you not know all the things that go into basketball, sir? Roy Hachimura came into the season with an injury. Can't just throw him out there. He coming to the season with an injury and he ain't looking right. Hell no, I ain't just throwing him out there like that. It's things that go on behind the scenes that you don't see. You would like somebody to do it like this and make you think it's easy. No, it don't work like that. Shout out to my boy Xavier in the cash app this morning. $25 donation, man. He said, I'm sick of LeBron and his cronies. Hey, man, get him out of there. That's on y'all. Y'all the ones got to say, hey, look, man. It's time to move on from LeBron James. Y'all don't want to do it. All y'all want to do is sit up here and act like y'all afraid of the man. I ain't saying you, but I'm talking about in general. That's what these cats is doing. They in fear of them. You know? So, and when you in fear of somebody, it is what it is, bro. When you in fear of somebody... I'm being real with y'all. I'm being real with y'all. Man did man did that man like that, bro. It's a disgrace, man. It really is, man. I don't I want to see Phil Handy get a shot at being a, a, a head coach, but on a different terms, man. Not tearing down another brother that's out here that, you know what I'm saying, trying to do his job. Phil, uh, uh in one year as the head coach. Darvin Ham went to the Western Conference Finals and won the end season tournament. Now all of a sudden he's a bum. Now all of a sudden he can't coach. Right? That's why y'all see, right? That's why y'all see Darvin Ham doing what he's doing. Darvin Ham have a 54.3 winning percentage in his career right now. Darvin Ham has won 54% of his games as the Lakers head coach. Right? He's won 54% of his games as the Lakers head coach. Been to the Western Conference Finals. Won the in-season tournament. And they talking about firing this man. When that man had all kind of injuries. Vanderbilt, all these dudes hurt. In and out the whole season, main key guys hurt. 
Make it make sense. Well, LeBron James want to fire him to get Phil Handy hired. It's some shameful shit. It's shameful, man. It really is, y'all. This y'all, this is y'all king. All y'all that praise LeBron James and glorify his name. This is y'all king. This the guy y'all praise. Definitely going live on the podcast show after this, y'all. Shout out to everybody who pulled up the other day. My boy James, my boy Trayvon, all them dudes pulled up on the podcast show. We went live on the podcast show. We're going live after this on the podcast show to cook this dude again. It, it's, it's literally a disgrace. And I know people going to say, oh, these dudes going to say, oh, ticket line, ticket line, ticket line. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Matter of fact, I'll prove it to y'all. I'm not lying. I'll put it on the screen right now. Put it on the screen right now. You know, LeBron James has led all these players down the road of 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 of, of just foolishness. That's what he has done. He has led these guys down the road of unrighteousness. That's what he has done. That's what he has done. I'm gonna show y'all right now, though. I know everybody gonna say, oh, take it, man. Come on, man. You know LeBron and them didn't do that. LeBron led the troops. He had all these guys on the team pushing to get Darby Ham out of there. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. You don't have the type of stuff to operate like this. You know what I mean? You don't have to do that. So, and I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, there you go right there, that's y'all boy LeBron James, that's y'all king, that's y'all king LeBron James, right, right? Um, and it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Shit is disgraceful, bro. You know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't trust nobody, bro. I wouldn't trust anybody if I was Darvin Ham. I wouldn't. I, I feel so sad uh, for the situation that Darvin Ham had to go through. I, 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 man, I feel for the brother, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. I feel for that brother, man. Don't nobody deserve this. Don't nobody deserve that, bro. That man, that man ain't deserve that, bro. He ain't deserve that, bro. They gonna try and cancel the dude, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna have all the guys on. I'm gonna invite all the guys on on the podcast. Y'all already know I'm gonna invite all the guys on on the podcast, and uh, I'm going on the podcast right now. Uh, I'm going on the podcast show in just a few minutes, you guys. But I'm just again, man. I'm tired of LeBron James, bro. I'm tired of the guy, man. Hopefully. You know, this guy will go ahead and retire, man, so we could talk about real stuff and these other players that's out here really, you know, putting in great work, man, and really trying to do great things. You know what I mean? It is sad, brother. 
It is truly sad what's going on. So if you guys want to catch my live stream on the podcast show, subscribe to the podcast show right now. We like, I think we like 70 subscribers away from 3,000. We got like 2,900 and something. 926, something like that. Subscribers on the podcast show. So if you guys come subscribe uh, today, we get to 3,000 a day. But we will be going live on the podcast show. I'm going to invite all the brothers in so they can cook on this right now, man. It's a disgrace, man. It's a disgrace, brother. And so you guys let me know what y'all feel. The link to the podcast show will be pinned at the top of the comment section. And I'm going to invite all the brothers in, James, Herm, all the brothers. Mass, everybody. I'm going to invite all the brothers in on the podcast. On the podcast, we can talk, you know, how we want to talk about this. Y'all already know how I get down, man. Patreon.com backslash ticket tv and shout out to everybody who donates to the channel oh and shout out to the brother right now jb with a donation came through 30 dollars donation this morning in the cash app salute to you my brother i appreciate that man appreciate that man uh, much love to you much respect to you but yeah man it's just crazy man it's crazy bro like Y'all can go to patreon.com backslash ticket TV, man. We're going on the podcast now. Link will be pinned at the top of the comments.